Shabbat Shalom. Hi, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom from Under the Dome. Hey, that was my line. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, if you're still with us after watching the Flat Earth uh, video. That, yeah, now that you know we're flat Earthers. We're not flat Earthers. We're biblical cosmologists. Yes, biblical cosmologists. Mm -hmm. um, and that we believe the Millennial Kingdom might have already happened. Mm -hmm. You're still with us. And that um, we're somewhere in Satan's little season, short season. Short season, Revelation yeah. Revelation 20. Yeah. And by the way, we're still studying this out. Uh, we're studying out a lot of these things uh, mm -hmm. because we are told to test all things yeah. um, and to hold firm to that which is true. Psalm 119, 142, the truth is the Torah. Yes. Um, my righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy truth is Torah. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the things that we need to hold on to. It's all about the Torah. It always has been about the Torah. It's the whole duty of man, right? Yes. Um, but these other things are so much fun to try and figure out. Uh, it, like I said in our, one of our previous videos, it was life-changing to mm -hmm. me to learn that uh, the Earth is not some spinning ball rotating around the sun at 66,600 miles per hour. Yeah. Um, on a you know 23.4 degree tilt, which is a six, 66.6 <laughs> you know axis on it's just crazy. Like they, there's so so much lies within that. Yeah, it's not what right? we've been told. Yeah, so I, it just changed uh, my life when you know when I found this out, mm -hmm. and uh, and it you know it got me kind of you know waking up to what else are they lying about? What else uh, is there to talk about and to seek these things out? By the way, they don't talk about these things in church. Um, or at least we didn't, because um, I wish they would have. Yeah. I would, I would have, you know, wanted to stay if if we if we had talked about the Torah and loved the Torah and were seeking the Father's ways, mm -hmm. and then being so interested in what else uh, maybe we're we're following, what other kind of uh, pagan ways or the lies of the fathers that we inherited, what other things can we mm -hmm. uh, find that we need to get rid of mm -hmm. out of our life yes. uh, and the lies that that we've inherited? Yes, absolutely. So. Yeah, it's been. It, everything from the paganism and the holidays to, I mean, we were just, I was just learning about St. Patrick's Day last night, you know, learned yeah. something new about St. Patrick. He wasn't. Well, yeah, and how he actually kept the tour. Yeah, right? and he actually wasn't even born in Ireland. He was born in Scotland. And he was part of a Celtic church that rejected everything that the Roman Catholic Church was doing. And he followed the ways. Yeah, he followed who was ways. Yeah. That church kept Seventh day Sabbath. They did not prescribe to any of the, into Easter, to any of the holidays, or any, a lot of the traditions that the Catholic Church was. Um, you know, in, you know, instituting. And yeah. I was just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you know, learning cause I, and I say that as an example, just because I, we've always like celebrated St. Patrick's day. Like my family, like, I think we, I think everybody thinks they're Irish. I think because it's a holiday. Well, we probably, <laughs> I think we all got some Irish. <laughs> we probably do. Thing. But you know, I, we've always made it, made it before coming to tour. We've always made, at least I have, I made you celebrate it with me, but my family, I, I've always made it a big deal. And so we've kind of walked away from that not kind of, we have walked away um, from all of those holidays. And so then to kind of learn about, you know, something like that, like, of course he is, he was a tour keeper, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, why wouldn't he be? <laughs> like, yeah. Because truth is stranger than fiction. Yeah. And these are the things we should be testing out and always talking about. Yeah. This is uh, found within that uh, amazing book. It's one of my favorite books. It's the uh, Order of the Ancients mm -hmm. uh, reported to be written by Elijah. It's incredible. It says that uh, brothers and sisters united under Torah, mm -hmm. united under keeping the Father's commands, mm -hmm. uh, should come together regular, regularly yes. and discuss the weightier matters, yes. the, the amazing things that um, that Yah has veiled. You know, <coughs> bless you. Sorry, I've never done that before. <laughs> um, but <I> know. <laughs> oh, it's, it's fine. Bless you. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, to discuss these like these weightier things, you know, yeah. because. Yah doesn't, Yah, Yah's prophecy, uh, especially about the end times and stuff like that, is veiled. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of things that are hidden, and it's the glory of kings to seek out a matter, right? Yeah. Or the honor of kings to seek out a matter, the glory of Yahweh to hide yeah. it. Yeah. Um, it's to bring honor and glory to Yahweh. Mm. Uh, because he hid these things, they're secret. Um, but it's like treasure, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Psalm uh, 19 tells you the Torah. The precepts yeah. and testimonies are finer yeah. than gold, sweeter than honey and honeycomb. Yeah. Like these are things that we want to seek out and find mm -hmm. uh, within scripture. And guess what? He's hidden them. They're so special and set apart. Yah doesn't just throw them out anywhere. He doesn't throw, you know, mm -hmm. pearls to swine. Yeah. He throws them out, but hides them 
Yeah. So you have to seek for it and you have to dig for treasure. Yeah, and I think just like we've talked about with the, the hidden books, I think some of these things have been hidden and tucked away because, you know, he gave them. I think he, he gave them to, in the very beginning, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think his people rejected. They rejected his commands. I think so much of what, you know, the, I think the truth's been hidden too. I think yeah. he's hidden it, you know, and like treasure. Um, but he is allowing, I think, this generation... Um, who's coming back to him, this remnant who's being regathered. You know, we're all scattered. We're going to be regathered. Mm -hmm. um, but he's allowing this generation right now to take part in something incredibly special and unique that I don't think any other generation's got to do. And yeah. that's to actually seek out and pursue the ways of, you know, Abraham and Moses and Isaac and Jacob. You, you know, mean they the ancient all, path? The ancient path. Yeah, the, the old ways. The, yes, the original, yeah, the, the old ways. And, um, even like, even medicinally, like we talked about pharmacia and, you know, just the ways of this world are not Yah's ways. Mm. And it's sorcery. It is. It's and the his, ways of the watchers. Yeah, it is the ways of the watchers. And so I think that's why so much, even of our videos are, we're like, we're exposing the truth. Like there's so much to expose in the fruitless works of darkness. And we've done that too, but we also are like, Hey, we're looking into you know, the calendar and we're, we're over here. Like we just, we have, we have so much excitement and hunger and we just like, we want to talk about these things. Yeah. You know, we want to encourage others who are on this narrow path to search these things out, you know, to, to abandon the ways of the heathen, to abandon the ways of the nation and come back to Yah's ways to these ancient paths. And, you know, and yeah, these things are treasure and you have to search for them. They're <laughs> hidden. They're, yeah. they're hard to find. And there's a, a parable there's an amazing book called The Gospel of Kaledi. Mm. Uh, this is, we'll probably do a video on, on The Gospel of Kaledi. There's other people doing videos right now on it. So if you want to check it out, you know, you can find it on YouTube. Parable of Vineyards doing a, a Gospel of Kaledi thing. Mm -hmm. um, no, but yeah, funny. Noel uh, Hadley does a Gospel of Kaledi reading Unexpected Cosmology. Um, but we have, we have bought it, actually read it online before. And uh, it's, it's just so incredible. Uh, it is another gospel that Yahusha, um, that's written about Yahusha HaMashiach. Um, by the way, there's many gospels, just as Luke said. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, this is just another gospel. And there's, but anyways, there's a parable within it. And, it, and Yeshua is saying there is a, a man who's, who's standing by a tree and he's constantly begging for money and desiring to be rich. He wants to be rich and he wants to be rich. And he sits by this tree all the time begging for money. And then he dies mm. by the tree and the people come to clean him up, take his body away and they dig where he was at to bury him. And they dig down and find buried treasure right underneath where he was standing yeah. the whole time. And the, you know, just something when you remind, we were talking about this treasure, seeking things out. Mm -hmm. it, it takes more than just begging for it. You know, right. anyone who likes wisdom can ask freely and Yahoo will give it to him. Yes. Uh, but wisdom comes by the fear of Elohim and the keeping of the commandments. It takes obedience. It takes more than just wanting it. Mm -hmm. You have to be obedient and search it out and seek it. And the more you start pulling on, you know, that string on the sweater, you know, the more it just yeah. unravels, yeah. Uh, the more layers of the onion there are. And there's just so many things. And yeah. it just, that excites me. Yeah. Every time, every time there's a new, uh, you know, scripture released, uh, <laughs> you know, or something, I'm just, you know, oh my goodness, you know, and I, ready, we just had ready. one yesterday that we printed off and we're like, oh, this is amazing. Yeah. Uh, so it's just incredible. So all that to say is um, talking about where we are in prophecy. Mm. Um, it might it doesn't mean that we know and we're the, you know, that we know the truth or whatever. It doesn't mean that. It just means that we're investigating it and how we see it. Um, I think we need to really look at our history yes. and really look at... Um, you know, if we if we can all agree, they're lying to us about pharmacia. They're lying to us about cosmology. Uh, they're lying to us about biology. You mm -hmm. know, they're lying to us where we came from, where we are, and how to even take care of ourselves. Yeah. Surely, they're lying to us about history. Yeah. Uh, we got to believe that history is a complete lie. And yeah. I think that's kind of gaining some momentum right now. A lot of people are. Yeah. I think it's really popular. I, well, I think. It, uh... Yeah, I don't know. That, yeah, it's popular, but I think it's because I think we do. So many of us believe we're in the end. I mean, you know, even within Christianity, I would say that, you know, in general, I think anybody that believes, you know, 
in Jesus and Yeshua and reads their Bible, has read Revelation, you know, now our, there's different interpretations of where we are in Revelation, but I think there's a genuine interest because we, I think, all believe we're in the end. Yeah. You know, and I know that generations and so many have said that before, you know, we're in the yeah. end, we're in the end. But, um, you know. But truly, there's something going on now in the world and it's... It's kind of undeniable that there's something's a, happening. Yeah, there, yeah, it's, yeah, it's undeniable. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's why people are like, you know, truly trying to study out Revelation and also starting to see, well, you know, if the beginning of the book of how Yah, not how, but what Yah created isn't what they've told us, yeah. then maybe this thing in the end isn't as true as what we've been taught in the church mm -hmm. um, or whoever. So, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Oh no! You don't say sorry. That you're exactly right, though. I mean, these things are they're important because I think we're starting to realize, hey, uh, this world, something's going on in the mm -hmm. world, and we're really yep. desiring to know where we are in history. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, uh, like we said, uh, especially in our last video, if you saw that Enoch ninety three, if you haven't, go watch it. Uh, not to promote our video, but because Enoch ninety three is an amazing prophecy. Yeah, it's a great foundation. It's an amazing prophecy. Um, go read the prophecy. <laughs> yeah, go, yeah. I'm sorry. Don't watch the video. Go to Enoch 93 first and read that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't watch the video. Uh, good. Good catch. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, read Enoch first. Uh, well, we read it in the video. But yeah, we do read, read Enoch it first. 93. Test it first for yourself. Yeah. And then if you're curious about what we have to say about it, then go click. Yeah. Watch, yeah. So. so I think I think one of the biggest things for me <laughs> is uh, so this is we're going to do probably just talk about the short season yeah. and uh, we had someone comment on the video and say hey do a video on the short season we were wanting to kind of talk about the short season this will be kind of an ongoing video as we discover more things because like we said we're investigating this yeah and we kind of i think we also want to touch on the mud flood at some point too we didn't the we, mud flood the mud flood got touched okay. at the very at the very end but yeah go look whole, in your cities if you live a in a whole, city go check them out well yeah you don't have to go there now i'm just saying like yeah. you know We'll, we'll, okay, we'll so press then. pop on that. Okay. Yeah. No, but I'm just saying <laughs> there could be future videos, and that definitely would be one of them because I had no idea what mud flood was until yeah. Yeah. just recently. So, uh, like you were saying, like uh, earlier about uh, how these things are available now for this generation. Yeah, this window's closing. Um, we can all kind of see a limited it. Time offer. We Sorry. were talking about it today, uh, especially with these uh, bank collapses. By the way, I think it's all orchestrated, everything that's going on right now. Yeah, train derailments. Uh, yeah, everything is being orchestrated uh, by Hasatan. But but if you don't follow Yah, you do follow Hasatan. There's only two people to follow. Um, and so if you're following, if you're not following Yah, you're following Hasatan. So you will do the works of Hasatan. Mm. Um, unfortunately, mm. uh, we all have. We all have done his works yeah. and followed him. Yeah. Um, so following Torah is really just following Yah, which is really not sinning and which is really just not following Hasatan. Yeah. So anyways, um, so all these things are orchestrated. We were talking this morning how this, uh, they're trying to introduce the digital currency, yeah. um, which like we didn't mask up, we didn't, you know, vaccinate ourselves and put abominations in our bloodstream. Uh, we didn't do that just like we didn't obey the orders that were the mandates that were going down three years ago. Um, we will not do a digital currency mm -hmm. and, uh, there will be a lot of us who don't, but this is really when you start affecting people's wallets, yep. um, that's really when the wheat and the tares are separated, um, because you'll have to give up your life yeah. if you don't want to, uh, take this digital currency. Mm -hmm. So if it is coming soon, which I do believe it is, um, we won't be on here. Uh, wisdom will be hidden. I'm not saying we're wise, but wisdom is the fear of Elohim and the keeping of the commandments. I fear Yah, and I love Yah, and I keep His commandments. I try to. I try the best I can to keep His commandments. Yeah. You do too. I love the Torah. I really love the Torah because it's the ways of our Father. Yeah. It's beautiful, and it's the uh, behavior of His Son. So when we're doing this, you know, uh, these things are going to be, these these things, people people that are seeking Yah and keeping the Torah, um, they're not going to, they won't be taking this digital currency. Some yeah. might. We'll have uh, to walk away. We'll have to walk away. Yeah. And I think a lot of us will. And wisdom will be hidden on this platform and many other platforms because... The wise will yeah. understand and walk away. Yeah, the and wise... And yeah. will continue doing wicked and will follow in the paths of Hasatan. Good job. Them. It's Daniel 12. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, that's amazing. <laughs> you surprised. No, no, I'm not surprised. That was amazing. <laughs> but, but it's uh, true. It's I mean, true, it's yeah. Daniel 12, you know, it's prophetic. Yeah. Yeah. And 
these things, uh, if you want to find these things, it's going to be hidden, yeah. uh, especially on the internet. Um, the, you know, we won't be able to have phones. We won't be able to have electricity. Um, we won't be able to have a lot of these things if we yeah. don't mm -hmm. go with the beast, the we system of the beast. Yeah, we will not be able to participate in society. Yeah. Uh, it will be required. Yeah. You know, it, it will be required. The, mm -hmm. the one, one world, insert whatever you want, you know, one world currency, one world religion. It's all, I feel like it's all going to come together. Sure. You know, it's all going to come together. Yeah. So, and we, you know, we talked too how it's not, um, you know, there's that, what Yeshua says in Matthew 24, it says everyone, uh, mm -hmm. everyone will be giving uh, to marriage and yes. partying right up till the day. Yes. That tells me that it's not doom and gloom. It's not like, oh no, the world's ending. Yeah. Everyone's going to be just doing their daily thing. Yeah. Um, just like you said, the wise will understand the wicked will continue doing wicked yeah. wickedness. Um, and so I don't think it's going to be like, you know, they'll switch to a digital currency. Mm -hmm. Three years will go by and everything will be fine. You know, yes. we won't have taken it. It's going to be hard for us, but the world's just going to keep going yeah. on. And the next, you know, the next, uh, uh, the next uh, hoax will come along. The yeah. next thing will come along. Um, and they'll just keep having more and more. And uh, we already see every single thing that's on the news is, is a, it's a hoax. It's yeah. false. It has an agenda. And it's, uh, they're doing it on purpose. Yeah. So. And we may, we may, I mean, not saying we're right or wrong on this, but this is just, you know, we saw the, we saw the V coming three years ago. Yeah. When, I mean, we saw so much of this, like, I don't know, like we saw so much of this coming, like coming to fruition. So we were prepared you know, for me to lose my job yes. and, uh, and long and behold, a year later, I was going to lose my job, Yeah, you know? And yes. not, not to say like, look at us, but it's just like, Yah has pre prepares his people he prepares those who are going to seek only him and let go of this world. Yeah. And uh, if, you know, I think, um, I don't want to say like COVID was like a, um, like it, but it, it was definitely a testing. And if you failed the test on COVID, don't fail the next one. Yeah. Don't fail the next one. The next one's just going to be stronger. Yeah. And uh, if it is the digital currency, don't get it. Uh, if it is aliens, what they're telling you are aliens, don't believe them. Yeah. Uh, there are demonic presences, they're demons. This has happened before. Uh, history repeats itself. What happens in the end will be from the beginning, right? Yeah. So these are the same things with the watchers coming down. Yeah. Um, there's all kinds of paintings, all old paintings talking about, um, you know, uh, spaceships and things coming down. Mm -hmm. um, and these are just the watchers. These are just angels. Yeah. These are Hasatan's angels. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a long introduction to what so we're going to talk about. Season? Well, before we go there, so mm -hmm. I'll just... These two verses were impressed upon me um, from Enoch 92, and um, I've just been meditating on them, like, just the last, just since, honestly, yesterday. But, let not your spirit be troubled on account of the times, for the holy and great one has appointed days for all things. Mm -hmm. So, at the end of the day, <laughs> the end of the day, we know that the narrow path is, it requires endurance. We know that it's afflicted, but we must not... We must not take the easy road. We must stay the course. We must stay on the narrow path. And we must be, we must understand that Yah and His Word remain true. Everything else in this world is going to try to distract us. Hasatan is going to try to distract us. He's going to try to create um, this fear within, within us that we need to have security in certain things of this world. And it's, it's been so evident in the last three years. Yeah. Um, and it's only going to become more prevalent in our lives as, as, he takes, he affects our livelihoods. He affects our wallets. He affects their ability to live and participate in society. You but, know, the last three years have all been about money. Yeah. It's weird how they, you know, remember the coin shortage during yeah. all this? Why was there a coin shortage? Yeah. It was all tied to, yeah, what, do you want right to continue your, yeah. your life? Do you, you need the, the passport? Don't you want to travel? Yeah. You've got to be able to continue your life. Don't yeah. you want to go to the grocery store? Yes. Like it was just all about continuance in society yeah. and in the world. Yeah. And this, this just brings such peace to me. His Torah brings such peace, peace to them who love his Torah and for them, there's no stumbling block, mm, it's great verse. you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's where our peace is. He yeah. is our peace. He is our assurance. So everything that we're talking about, I think, is just to bring awareness because there is curiosity. There's a lot of interest. We have interest in it. We need to be discerning the days and discerning the times. Um, and but we need to our our more than our houses need to prepare be prepared. Our hearts need to be prepared. You know, mm -hmm. we are we ourselves need to be prepared 
for what's coming, right? We need to be praying that we can escape the things that are coming. Yeah. Um, praying but, always that we're considered worthy to escape yes, the things that are coming. But we should not be troubled. We should not let our spirits be troubled. We should not let fear grip us. And in the days ahead, in the days that were behind us, like like you said, there was so much fear um, created in the last three years. Mm-hmm. And But then at the same time, there was like this remnant of, of people that saw right through what was going on in the world and they walked away from it, and yeah. they came back to Yastor. Praise be to him. And who knows? Maybe this is going to bring more people to him. But I think you're right. I think the window is short. The yeah. window is because if we're in the short season, it's short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so <laughs> one <laughs> one big thing with the short season, like I said, I think we're going to do multiple videos on this particular pro- topic topic yeah. as we uh, continue to study it out. Um, but right now, we're just going to give you an introduction. Uh, the short season. Uh, is mentioned in Revelation 20. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is right after the millennial kingdom. So you had the millennial reign of Yahusha, mm-hmm. Messiah, um, our Messiah, and the saints. The saints ruled with him as priests and kings uh, with him. So like I was saying, the uh, sh- short season, I don't know why I thought, the <laughs> short season is uh, found in uh, Revelation 20, mm-hmm. uh, verse 8. Um, oh, I'm sorry, verse 7. It says, When the thousand years are expired, Hasatan shall be loosed out of his prison. It shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and could pass the camp of the saints about and the beloved city. And fire came down from Elohim out of the heavens and devoured them. Mm-hmm. And the devil that deceives them, deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are. And shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Okay, so oh, something really uh, amazing, really quick. And I'll just touch on this as I read it. Verse nine, uh, the, it says breadth, and they went up on the breadth. This is the word platos mm-hmm. uh, from plaso, meaning flat or spread out. Mm-hmm. So uh, obviously, this, this is a flat, motionless plane, mm-hmm. the floor of heaven with seven firmaments above us. Um, this is amazing because if it was the circumference of the earth, it would have said circumference. Because he actually says that later uh, in the very next sentence. Right. Uh, the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints. He encircled the camp of the saints. So he could have said, Yah went out, I mean, uh, Hasatan went out and encircled the, you yeah. know, got the nations. But he doesn't. He says he gathered from, from the breadth, from yeah. the very ends of the earth, gathered yeah. all the nations around. Mm-hmm. Um, that's just skipping ahead. But yeah, uh, four the, corners you don't think of. How do you get yeah. four corners from a globe? Yeah, you don't get four quarters <laughs> from, a, from a globe. So, just something. These little things are everywhere, and we, we listed a bunch of them in our Flowers oh, yeah. video. Yeah. Uh, but uh, this short season, it's a time of deception. And I said this before, mm-hmm. um, you know, if this is not the time of deception, then Hasatan needs to be taking notes of this time. Yes. Because this time right here is so wicked, so evil. Everything's a deception. There yeah. is so there's so much deception going on right now in the time we live in that I don't know how it can't be the time of deception. Mm-hmm. If it's not, this is what it would look like. Yeah. So, um, and another big thing is in um, you know the New Testament is written in such a way that it's all about um, everything is is all about you know the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of uh, repent for the kingdom is near. Yeah, the kingdom <laughs> of Yahweh is coming. Yeah. Like get ready. It's the gospel yeah. of the kingdom, right? Yeah. John it's the Baptist all, it started with John the Baptist. Oh yeah. I mean, he came on the scene and he was mm-hmm. like. You know, it's all like, get ready, get ready. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. You know, Yeshua is saying, you know, many here stand with me. We'll see the glory. You'll see the glory of the kingdom coming. They're going to see the sun in the kingdom, you know, and these were things that, that were said all throughout the new Testament. It was all about preaching grace and trying to get people in like, Hey, come on. You're, you're, you're gained repentance. Yeah. Come on into the fold. Come on. Come on before the doors are shut. And why would there be such urgency if it was... If it 2,000 was, years later. Right. You know, and here we are 2,000 years later. What happened? Yeah. What has our history been like? Have we been lied to about history? And we have. Yeah. So we look back and we see um, these magnificent structures, mm-hmm. um, specifically after Rome, mm-hmm. specifically in uh, the time they called the Dark Ages, right. um, after the fall of Rome, which was actually the Light Ages. Um, but... Uh, you know, our our world is ran by the prince and the power of the air, right. Hasatan himself. Of course, he would call it the Dark Ages. Mm-hmm. Um, but but he's a, it's a counterfeit. Absolutely. So many yeah, counterfeits. It's the counterfeit and a lie. He's the father of all lies. Yeah. So, uh, so we look back and we get these amazing structures 
um, that were actually dedicated to saints. Like cathedrals, um, right? Cathedrals. And yeah. these were our kings and our priests were living and, and operating. Mm-hmm. Um, you have things like star forts that are all throughout the world. Everywhere. Google it, because I didn't know what that was. Yeah, these star forts are everywhere. Um, there's a lot of theories on what these might be. A lot of them think, uh, a lot of people think they're um, like camps for like uh, people with leprosy, uh, as the Torah permits. Mm-hmm. Um, but personally, I believe they are temples that uh, Ezekiel talks about building, and he, he tells you the design of them that there will be uh, squares on each corner, which mm-hmm. makes a star. And uh, mm-hmm. so I think these are these are actually temples where sacrifices actually went down. If you do not know that sacrifices are in the millennial kingdom, read your prophets. Uh, Ze- Zechariah, is it Zephaniah talks about it? Zechariah, Zechariah. Th- definitely talks about it. Isaiah talks about it. Um, Ezekiel talks about it. There will be sacrifices mm-hmm. done in the millennial kingdom by Yeshua himself. Yeah. Um, you're going to have sacrifices done um, because there is still sin during the millennial kingdom. That's mm-hmm. another thing to that, you know, I, I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. But there are still nations who will refuse to follow him. And refuse to come. That's what it says, right? Where, yeah. where is that? Is that not, I'm gonna That's Zechariah, yeah. Zechariah, yeah. Where yeah, they, where they refuse They don't to come them. to Sukkot. They don't come to the feast, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Rain will, I mean, that's disobedience. They won't receive rain receive on their rain land rain. Yeah. Uh, if they don't participate in Sukkot right. and come to, you know, Jerusalem. So feast days are going to be kept. Yeah, feast days are still kept. So anyone who believes the Torah is done away with, it never was. Yeah. Uh, it's still here. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's, I guess, true for all generations. The whole duty of man, as long as heaven and earth is here, um, which it's still here, we're still on earth and heaven's up there. Yeah. Um, as long as it's here, the Torah still abides. Yes. Uh, it's still here. Uh, not one jot or one tittle will be removed from it. Right. Um, so here we are at the end of the millennial kingdom. Mm-hmm. Um, and what happened? Uh, I don't know, actually. I would suppose, I would guess that there's a lot of nations who disobeyed. Yeah. They stopped following Yah, or they started following Yah and Yeshua in a way that he didn't like, just like we always have. Yeah. Um, and then at some point, um, Yeshua was hidden. Now, I believe this is probably with the, the return of the Watchers, um, which, you know, we could discuss more on that. The Watchers were placed, uh, uh, chained up mm-hmm. for 70 generations, 4,900 years. Uh, if you do the math, that works out to around 17, you know, 16, 1700, yeah. somewhere around there. Um, and so, uh, you know, I believe that they were released. Mm-hmm. And this was probably the culmination, the end of the Millennial Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Now, Yeshua might still be here somewhere, hidden. Um, it actually says within Enoch that the place where the watchers come out would actually be turned to ice. Uh, it's a hot place when they're put in there burning with sulfur and hot. And there's, mm-hmm. there's fire coming out of the ground. So there's springs, I think, like hot springs. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when they come out, it's turned to ice. So where is, where is there ice on our earth today? And there's our son right there. <laughs> Please go back to your room, sir. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Comes out with no shirt on. <laughs> the North Pole, maybe? North Pole, Antarctica. Antarctica? I don't know. But um, anyways, uh, so there's some amazing things. And that's where we get the mud flood. Uh, you know, a lot of things happen right after the Millennial Kingdom where they were destroying the old world. Uh, there's so much uh, within the world's fairs and all these fires that happened in the 1800s. Mm-hmm. We're going to do a much more detailed video because our kids, are, our kids are up right now. Yeah. <laughs> so we probably have to go really fast. But yeah. So we're going to just fast forward and we'll do yeah. a better video. On the mud flood. On the mud yeah. flood. Back. So a mud flood happened at the mm-hmm. end of the thousand year reign. Water's released. Mud flood happened. Yeah. Yeah, and that was probably... Probably some crazy earthquakes too, which might have been one of the trumpets blown. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, the Watchers are released, and this is what we mentioned this within Enoch 93. Mm-hmm. After the millennial reign, the Watchers were released for their judgment. Mm-hmm. They come out so they can be judged. Now, I believe they came out with Hasatan. So Hasatan is, is chained up for a thousand years during the millennial kingdom. Mm-hmm. Um, and I believe he comes out. Well, I don't believe he comes out. It says he comes out. Yeah. So he comes out at the end of the millennial kingdom. And I believe he came out with the Watchers. Yeah. This is a Polyon. In my opinion, this is a Polyon. And I think it's uh, Revelation 18 or 19. Uh, but this is a Polyon coming out with his, you know, demons. Um, and he comes out and um, anyway, starts the short season. And I don't know how long the short season is. Uh, that would be a, we want to study this out more. And I'll, mm-hmm. it's got to be written somewhere. It's got to be in somewhere yeah. 
and some of these extra biblical texts that were removed from our Bibles. Yeah. Uh, surely the people who removed them in the 1800s knew. Uh, maybe they didn't know, but subconsciously they removed them because, uh, okay. you know, it's in there. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really curious if an Enoch, especially, yeah. especially these books came from the Dead Sea Scrolls. I want to know, like, is it in there, the short season? How long is the short season? Because if we know how long the short season is, we know how close we are to a new heaven, new earth, yes. the battle of Gog and Magog. Yes. And so anyways, short season devils released. Here we are. Here we are in the season of deception. Everything is a deception. Yeah. Everything here that we're living in right now, it's just a big lie. Yeah. And so the children of the end, De uh, Deuteronomy 30, um, Hosea, it's, so, it's in so many places. Yeah. The children come back to the Torah in the end yeah. before they're rescued out. That's yeah. what always happens. They, yeah. they come back to the Torah. Yah snatches them out as a remnant, mm. destroys the rest of everything else because he's tired of Dylan, he has to judge them. Yes. You know, he has to judge yes. us. And uh, mm. so praise be to Yah that there is a remnant and you are part of the remnant. Mm -hmm. we, we get to be part of the remnant. And we're, we're actually obeying the Torah and seeking yes. the old path and the ancient ways. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking a, a ton. No, I, but, no, you're good. Yeah. Kids are up, so we got to go. But <laughs> uh, just, just maybe a teaser and maybe we'll do like another uh, video right after this of um, the short season do a better uh, kind of more detailed of the mud flood. Yeah, of the mud I think flood. the mud flood is very interesting. There's yes. a lot of details that we could go into, mm -hmm. you know, with you know maps that have been remapped. Oh yeah, the world's been yeah. remapped. Our old maps are just yeah. showing a whole different world. Yeah, and something changed in seventeen eighteen hundreds somewhere around there. Something majorly changed in the world. And, uh, and it's obvious. I mean, they were destroying yeah. this old world. Yeah. They didn't want you to know what was, what was here. And there's evidence of it today. Oh yeah. You can, at least in a, the city that's closest to us, there's evidence. Mm -hmm. We live in Tennessee and yeah, the closest city is Chattanooga. Yeah. 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 So yeah. you have buried, uh, windows, buried, buried everyone, buildings, buried buildings. Yeah. Some, uh, some weird things and not very good, um, reasons why things are the way they are yeah so and by the way this is everywhere it's all throughout the world uh you know this, they have quite a bit in italy um in paris everywhere yeah so uh, but anyways we'll catch you on the next video we gotta go because we're yeah. parents <laughs> so you know what that's like yeah so, have a good yeah. sabbath everyone mm -hmm. praise yashalom yeah